pleasure of interviewing Dr. Constantine George, a dual board certified MD in internal medicine and pediatrics and founder of Epitome Medical a private concierge internal medicine and pediatrics primary care clinic along with his own smartphone app called BDS. The first of its kind in the U.S., BDS brings healthcare directly to patients in hotel rooms, conventions, or provides access to a doctor via video conferencing. And in 2017, he was appointed the medical director of Las Vegas Convention Center, working in tandem with Sunrise Hospital and Medical Center towards a shared goal to promote medical tourism in Southern Nevada. Dr. George also serves on the UNLV School of Medicine Community Engagement Board as an integral member helping to launch Las Vegas' first medical school in 2017 and provides stethoscopes for the incoming medical school students every single year. So we're really happy to have you, Dr. George, with us today. Would you mind telling us your backstory? Thank you very much for having me on today. Appreciate it. So a little bit about me. I'm a native Las Vegan, born and raised here, one of the very few originals in town. So growing up here, educated here, families here. So the uniqueness of being in Las Vegas with that background, I was with my background there. Our backyard is Las Vegas Strip. So growing up, going to medical school, opening up my private practice here in Las Vegas, I wanted to incorporate what I grew up with, the hospitality that we have in Las Vegas. How do you incorporate that into healthcare? That was missing in my training, in my medical school career, and I wanted to kind of fill that gap when I was in private practice. So we took elements from my own backyard of Las Vegas, hospitality, and put them into healthcare, and that's where Epitome Medical was created. And that's what we've done. We've provided basic medical services that you and everybody else would expect in a primary care office. But we go above and beyond that by incorporating that Las Vegas hospitality that we're so used to as tourists when we come here. But now we're incorporating that into the delivery of our medical care to our patients. And they love that. And it's part of giving back to this community. I love this place. I grew up here. It provided me with a lot growing up. And so what a good way to give back to our tourists, but also to our locals with our clinic. And being in private practice for about 15 years now, it was noted that on the Strip, these patients would come, tourists, they would get sick. What would you do? Where would you go? Most people would go onto their phones. They would go to the urgent care or they wouldn't get anything taken care of medically until they would go back home. So fine-tuning what we did under the roof of Epitome Medical, we took that hospitality and healthcare combined format, and we turned that into the smartphone app that you said, BDS, and that is geared towards our tourists on the Strip. So we've taken what we've developed here in our brick-and-mortar shop, and we've given that to our patients. So they're experiencing not only the wonderful hospitality that we have, our great shows, our dining, we actually allow them to have access to that great medical care as well. So that's a little bit about a background of how we came up with Epitome Medical and also VDS as well. Great. Can you share the funniest or most interesting story that's happened since um, you began leading your company? So there's a lot of them in the old motto, what <laughs> happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. So what I tell patients is, We've had a lot of stories. One of the more unique ones that we've had is we had a couple from overseas and the one of the, they had divorced, husband, wife. So they unexpectedly, both of them were here at the same time with their new spouses going to get married. And so one of them fell under the weather, unbeknownst to the ex that they were here. I went to the hotel room to care of the guest, made sure that they were up and running to get it to their wedding on time. And so we, they were at the wedding reception, our typical Elvis chapels here in Las Vegas. And right behind her was her ex-husband with his new wife waiting to get married by Elvis. So only in Vegas did something like this happen. So that's just one of the many stories that we have, but it's fun. You get to meet a variety of people from a, numerous places throughout the world, and it, it makes you feel like you have an extended family. They keep on coming back, of course, Las Vegas tourism, but they appreciate having access to us and our app because we, in their eyes, we save their day. If it wasn't for us, maybe she wouldn't have gotten better, 
she wouldn't have been able to go to the chapel to get mm -hmm. married. They would have had to postpone this. And on top of it all, she wouldn't have not run into her ex-husband and his new spouse. <laughs> so it worked out pretty well. So that's, there's a lot of stories like that, but they're fun, though. As long as they're both happy, right? Exactly. <laughs> What do you think makes your company stand out and can you share a story? So the thing that I tell patients, when you hear the word concierge, what comes to mind? Most people think of access, they think of convenience, they think of accessibility, they think of expedited services. So what we've done is what everybody expects we provide medical services, internal medicine, pediatrics. So we see the whole range from birth to old age. And so we provide those medical services. But what we saw lacking in growing up here is that hospitality component. So we go above and beyond that. You allow patients to have easy access to you when they want it, when they need it. We're convenient for them because, as you know, we're all busy these days. We have busy schedules. Life is very unpredictable. So to have an accessible physician group, to have a conveniently located and also accessible group, it means a world of difference to these customers, our patients, and they love that. And on top of it, it's the convenience of going to them. We put healthcare in their control. Whereas the old way of thinking was you call my office, you make an appointment, you base it on my schedule as the provider, mm -hmm. we've kind of flipped the switch. We actually give the patient control and they work with us, we work with them, that's the concierge and hospitality component, to get them services they require at the time and location they request. So it's about providing services, but incorporating that hospitality concierge component, going above and beyond what normally has been done in medicine to a different level. And we've done very well. We've achieved that. It's a matter of how do you fine tune it and grow the product and allow us to share what we've done here locally with the rest of the country and albeit the rest of the world as well. So stories that we have, there are several. We have had patients, as an example, we had a client that came about three months ago, an executive at a company. They were here on a weekend, and the following morning, he was going to be presenting in front of his shareholders, and he had to give the main speech. The poor guy came down with a case of laryngitis, not the best time world so we were contacted on sunday about noon we were at the hotel within about 45 minutes per his request saw the client addressed his situation treated him we even delivered prescriptions to the hotel room for him that's part of the service that we provide convenience and accessibility again patient was treated and by the next day was feeling well enough to actually carry on with his presentation did the whole thing, did very well, was very thankful that we were here, we were accessible, we were convenient for him, and it was all in one service. He didn't have to leave his hotel room. Everything was done there. We delivered us to him, delivered medications to him, did very well, did his presentation. You would have never known sitting in the audience that he had been to a point the day before where he possibly couldn't have done the lecture or the talk that he was about to do. No, definitely life-saving for sure. Um, are you working on any new and exciting projects right now? We are. So with the success of VDS, what we've also noticed, a different sub-demographic is a lot of our corporate and business travelers. They, like you and I, if we go on leisurely travel, what do they do if they get sick or if they get under the weather? They're kind of in the same predicament as we are. Who do you see? Where do you go? Who do you contact? So through the VDS platform, we've also launched VDS Business. So again, like we do with our leisure travelers and tourists, those in the business world that are on corporate travel, they're here on corporate trips to do seminars and such, we have a platform for them as well. So they know that when they leave their home base, they can download the app, have a provider on their phone in their back pocket so they know it gives them that reassurance that if I were to get sick in my next location, wherever that may be, I, with the comfort of my own phone and convenience, can download the app, schedule an appointment, location, wherever they choose, 
time, date, it's up to the client and we'll accommodate and we'll see them to kind of help them carry on with their day and their business while they're here or wherever they may be. Great. What advice would you provide to other um, CEOs or founders that will help their employees thrive? So as we talked before, and it goes back to the platform of BDS and our business model, a lot of it is that hospitality component. You want to make sure whether you're an employer or an employee, you want to be conveniently accessible to your employees. Communicate with them. That's another big thing. Make sure you're open, you communicate, because if you don't communicate, you can't diplomatically resolve any issues that may arise. Have access. A lot of the times employees don't feel like they can have access to their boss or their employer. That shouldn't be the case. Always be accessible. So that motto, as in Epitome Medical and Vedius, I would have that transferred to that work environment as well. And the mm -hmm. other thing that I tell patients and also employers and employees, you have to be patient, you have to communicate, you have to listen. Because you may have a problem in your perspective, whereas the employer may not see that problem the same way. So it's all about communicating, but also, again, the basics, being accessible, being convenient, and being there for them. None of us are able to achieve success without some help along the way. Is there someone that you are grateful for that helped you get to where you are today? My parents, first and foremost, they came here. They were immigrants from Greece. They didn't speak the language, didn't really know anyone here. And that's why I'm so happy and fond of Las Vegas is this town's provided us with a lot. There's five siblings in my family, and we've kind of all grown up as a tight, typical Greek family. And the thing that's happened for me is having parents that kind of pushed us to go get educated, do something above and beyond what they were capable of doing. So I think that in my background and their perseverance, coming to a new country, raising a family, learning the language, all of those things combined we all have bad days, so when you look at those experiences, it kind of puts your problems into perspective, and you become more appreciative of what you have over the long mm -hmm. run. So, but above and beyond, it's my parents. There's a lot of other people during that course, but my parents are the two rocks, basically. Great. Can you share some of the ways that technology is changing the experience of going to the doctor? And again, that goes back to our motto of both businesses, Epitome Medical, VDS app, and VDS business app, it's we with medicine now, we've turned the page. Before we were in charge of the provider's office, you call me, I tell you when you can come in, I tell you where I can see you. With technology, you have flipped that switch. Now, you as the patient can tell us as the provider when you want to be seen, where you want to be seen, what time. So I think the benefit of this is we as providers now give patients the opportunity to take charge of their own health care. Whereas before, I would be kind of like a dictator telling you what to do, where to go, what to do it. Now, the patient takes responsibility. And it's good because the patient, by doing that, feels more responsible. They're more likely to follow through and take care of their health. Great. Can you share your favorite life lessons that you live by? So life lessons, what I tell patients and myself and everybody is everything in moderation. There's an old Greek term, pan metron ariston. And basically, we live one life and people have this concept of you can't do this or you should only do this. That's not a life worth living, basically. So you should experience everything that life has to offer, whether it's going on vacations, meeting different people, eating different foods, everything in moderation. Enjoy everything, but in moderation, don't overdo anything in excess. Otherwise, if you get focused on one area too aggressively, you lose out on other opportunities or experiences that you may have had otherwise. Some of the biggest news in business, uh, BC Funding, Sports, and Entertainment, read this column. Is there a person in the U.S. or in the world that you'd like to have lunch with or breakfast with, and why? 
there's a couple of them. I had, as we had talked in the article, we had provided the list with you. So there's not one particular person, I think. It's a group of people, and the reason why is getting their experiences in their different specialty fields and arenas. And again, realizing that at the end of the day, all of us, you, myself, those people in those other arenas, we're all here to service each other as a community. So you have to remember at the end of the day, it's all about humans and humanity. And where do we fit in? Where do we plug in and do our part to overall better society? So I think talking to individuals in different arenas and seeing what their plug-in component does to benefit and how we on the side can work with them in conjunction to kind of come to an overall improvement of life wherever you are. No, I absolutely agree. And I want to thank you so much um, for giving us time today. I, I know you have a very busy schedule, Dr. George, but I want to make sure that everyone has access to the VDS platform so and also VDS business. How, if you could just let us know how do we find out more information, that would be great. Thank you very much. So the easiest way is to download the app, either with Android or Google or iPhone, and you go to VDS, V as in Victor, E, D as in dog, I, U, S as in Sam, app, A as in Apple, P as in Paul, P as in Paul.com. So VDSapp.com, download the app, very self-explanatory, very easy to walk through it. There is an 800 number app phone is answered 24-7, 365 by a live person all the time. So we're not going to charge you to call and ask questions. That's why we're here. By all means, call and let everybody know that we are available to help them when and where they need it. Great. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks again. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me on. Have a nice day.